Hare Krishna, my dear children and also the parents and whoever is there for this event. It is my great pleasure to address you today with a message which I really feel will be very helpful for your spiritual life. The message is simple. Turn to Krishna and Krishna will turn to you. Krishna is very close to us, but often we forget that. He is for sure there on the altar. He is there when we chant his holy name and we remember, oh, Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. <laughs> and he is also, and maybe most importantly so, present in each of our hearts. Once Srila Prabhupada spoke about this and someone asked him, you say that Krishna is there in the heart, but if he is so, what is he doing at this present moment? Krishna, sorry, Prabhupada closed his eyes like this. And then he said, just now he's taking a rest. <laughs> so Krishna is there in our hearts. And we sometimes uh, fail to see that. But the moment we sincerely turn to Krishna, that moment he's immediately there. There's a very nice uh, story about this. It, there was once a poor a boy. He lived with his mother in the forest. And each day they had to walk or he had to walk through the forests but there were fearful animals like tigers and uh, wolves and elephants so the boy one day came to his mother and said i can't go to school any longer i'm too afraid today again i heard the roaring of the tigers and the mother said there's someone who can help you if you turn to him he will immediately be with you. His name is Gopal. Call out his name and he will come. So the boy mm, uh, did this. The next time he walked through the forest and heard some frightening noises, he shouted, Gopal! And immediately the Lord was there with a glittering yellow garment, a red cowherd uh, stick, his bugle or horn and his celebrated flute. And together they walked through the forest. And as long as Gopal was there, the boy had no fear. This went on for a couple of years until the day of the final examination came. The teacher said to the students, please, every one of you bring something so that we can celebrate. And the students brought, uh, were ready to bring things. But our little boy, who was now a little bigger, was so poor he had nothing. And when he asked his mother, the mother said, we don't have anything, we live in this forest. But ask Gopal. So the boy, uh, the next day, went to the school in the, in the middle of the forest. He shouted, Gopal! And Gopal came and said, what, what is it? Uh, I need something to celebrate. I said, Gopal, we are coward boys. We don't have anything. Uh, but uh, I can give you some yogurt. And he gave the boy a little glass full of yogurt. Uh, the boy brought that to the teacher. The teacher said, what? That is all what you have? This is a big celebration. A cup of yogurt will not be helpful to anyone. And uh, out of anger, he took the yogurt and he poured it out. But as he poured, more and more yogurt came. Uh, he said, bring a bucket. And a whole bucket was filled. Bring a second bucket, a third bucket. Twenty buckets were filled with yogurt because that was a cup from yogurt. Uh, a, a cup of yogurt given by Gopal. It was unlimited. It could never be emptied out. And in this way, the uh, 
yogurt present was enough to feed a thousand people. The teacher said, who gave you that yogurt cup? And the boy answered, Gopal. The teacher said, that Gopal? Gopal Krishna? I don't know, said the boy, but he has a bluish complexion, yellowish garments and a cowherd a stick and also a flute. Let me see, said the teacher. Next time you go to the forest, let me go with you and then call Gopal. And uh, the boy said, yes. The next day they went into the forest together and then the boy called Gopal. But Gopal didn't come because the teacher, who didn't really believe in the Lord, was hiding no uh, nearby and Krishna only comes for his devotees, not for those who are not his devotees. The boy called more and more and the teacher said, ha, ah, he doesn't come. Then the boy called one more time, Gopal. This time he saw Gopal, but he was hiding behind a tree and just came a little bit uh, like this from behind the tree. <laughs> so, uh, but only the boy could see, not the teacher. Because the boy had turned to Krishna, Krishna had turned to him. And the teacher never turned to Krishna and therefore Krishna remained absent. My dear children and also all of you who hear this message, let us learn the simple, simple truth. Uh, in the degree someone turns to Krishna, Krishna turns to him. The Lord speaks about this in the Bhagavad Gita. Ye atamang prapatyante tamstataiva bhajam yaham. He says, according to the way the devotees turn to me, I reward them accordingly. Uh, today is an important celebration. I understand that you have great plans for the Gurukul to make it sparkling and transform it into another palace. <laughs> uh, I want to encourage all of the parents uh, and also the children to take this very serious. Because, you know, when we want to invest in our future, we have to invest in our knowledge and our education. So, what was the message? <laughs> Let us all remember the message. If you turn to Krishna, Krishna will turn to you. I thank you very much. I wish you a wonderful celebration and uh, it was a pleasure to address you all and I hope to see you all latest at the Radha Desh Mellows when I come because the devotees so kindly invited me to come. All the best, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai and Hare Krishna.